episode 3 of the Koopa Chop Awards. So today we'll be going over my favorite, personally, <laughs> the Cappy's Crown. I'm, I'm a Cappy at heart, so we're looking at uh, the best assisting move. So this is for looking ahead, you know, looking out for the team and thinking about what might go wrong and how you can really choose actions in such a way that will be most helpful to the team. So yes, every team, hopefully, is full of cappies <laughs> at all times. Um, so yeah, let's let's jump into it. So first up, we have Team TBD, and yes, that is just to be decided that that's their real name now. And in fact, for those who have not been following, TBD won the tournament. So no surprise that they'll be showing up in these awards. Um, okay, so little backstory. Uh, this is known for five. This just gets chop moved, and now this is a green three saved, and now the team is at zero clues, so let's see what happens from here, okay? Various has a blue one, and mechanic clues ones. So this is a trash push, Coco shows it's unnecessary, and now Various, <laughs> look at the board that Various sees, okay? Green two is just drawn, it's also on chop, uh, the mechanic also has a green four on his own chop, so <laughs> various. Well, okay, he's expected to just play, and of course, spoilers. Now you can see this is indeed the exact other copy of Green Two, but various cannot know that. In fact, I, I believe it's a one in seven chance that it's exactly the other copy, since obviously it can't be Yellow One. Yeah, I think the the normal play is to just play and Yellow. The more respectful thing to do would be to generate. Okay, so you could discard here. But huge shout out to Various. This this is why he is the first runner up of the Cappy's Crown, is the choice to do a order trash chop move. There, there's some argument that this would shout because of the loaded, but I don't think so, because mechanic would still have to like scream if they need the screen too. So by far, the safest action is to just discard here um, and just give Mechanic the most options available to see what they want to do, right? So now they could they could just... I think the cleanest line would just be three to, uh, to finesse this. But, of course, it was indeed <laughs> the green two, so Mechanic just casually plays. Coco, honestly, might even have understood what just happened. That'd be kind of cool if there's no green too, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> Coco just discards and various. Well, okay, the game continues. Also, actually, this is, this is a pretty cool clue, but for another day. <laughs> okay, next up we have the other runner-up in no particular order. Our old friends, for anyone watching these awards, the greeting committee, once again, playing Reactor. Uh, Context. We got a blue three. I'm trying to hide the relevant hands here. Uh, discard their chop. Remember, newest chop, discard. Play. Okay. This is in reactor a color clue, meaning a discard plus a play. So discard and play. Okay, play. And then here's the tricky part. Okay, so forehead is our cappy. Left at zero clues in a stressful situation, okay? Sturm had just drawn a 5. That 5 is on chop. So forehead's a little scared. But okay, let's let's decipher the clue first of all. Since this is pink, this rank clue is encoded to mean 3. So it's clearly targeting Yagami's white 4 on slot 2. So it's telling forehead to play 3 minus 2 equals 1. Normally, like, it's very important to demonstrate the play so that Yagami knows how to encode, I mean, yeah, the white four. Oh, also, yeah, Yagami, all, all he knows is that he has a random four. For all forehead knows, right, this could play, this could be red three, yellow two, I mean, whatever. And if that's the case, then Yagami would be in the super awkward spot of needing to scream. And Timo, our resident reactor, <laughs> ref sieve expert, mentioned that that screaming in rough sieve is 
very rare and very scary. So Forehead makes an excellent decision here, discards his four. And to be clear, he, he didn't know which four this was. Discard this, okay. And the scary thing about this is that if this was white four, Yagami is currently being promised this is white four, which is playable. But Forehead trusts that Yagami will indeed give some clue to uh, to protect this, maybe get this. And sure enough, boom, referential play clue. Man, <laughs> ref sieve is pretty sick, huh? Because of course, by pushing this, this plays, and now this is off chop, protected. And forehead, this is all calculated. Now forehead, and only now forehead, plays the card that he was meant to play the previous round, which successfully encodes this. Yagami plays, and now, voila, everything is peachy. Last but not least, in fact, last but first, I guess, the, the, the winner of the Cassie's Crown is, drumroll please, once again, TBD, they're back. Yeah, it's, it's actually earlier from the same game that you, you saw before, so. Okay, so context, we got this yellow bluff, this plane, and now Various needs to consider his options. It's still early game, uh, and as every good Kathy should do, they sh they're, they're looking at chops, they're looking at available clues, and trying to plan ahead what lines will keep things safe. So... Actually, I mean, with this five showing up, I can, I can guarantee, I think 99.5% of players I know would give this five clue to Mechanic, which looks very juicy. It actually works as a five pull, since it wouldn't make sense as a five stall. So, I mean, yeah, easy two for one. But Various uh, looks into the... the the multiverse and sees what's going to happen after that and he sees this green four and he sees this blue four he sees everything <laughs> and so he he gives my favorite clue see if you can spot it uh -huh. it is ones to mechanic pretty sweet stuff so these are all opening hands so for all mechanic knows these are just unique ones so step one is that this allows mechanic to do boom an order chop move. So now blue four is protected. Various expected Coco to just clue five, probably. But he got the blue one. Uh, and of course now Various gets to do this red clue as a follow-up. Which is indeed, if you've read the level one guide, <laughs> it's just a fixed clue. <laughs> Even though it touches a new card, it's focused here, just saying, yo, don't play this. Uh, and it's it's just it's just gravy that we get this extra card picked up. And yeah, now Mechanic can discard, and game goes on. Excellent, excellent clue, excellent play. Protecting the red three, protecting the blue four. I don't know, what else is there to say? Sometimes bad clues are the best clues, so congratulations to Various, and to TBD, uh, and to TGC, <laughs> and I'll see you next time for... Oh yeah, next time, actually, we're going into the brilliancy prizes, so... Stay tuned.